Hello, everybody. Hi, Anthony and Jaden. So nice that you're here. And to and today, yes, we as usual we have Mary from Pittsburgh Artist Studio, and her her channel link is linked down below in the description box. And we, uh, I did I did a poll on my community tab this past week, and was challenged to by a few viewers to paint with my non-dominant hand and mary uh, will be joining in but we're going to do it different ways though i'm going to be painting uh, a background in my art journal i'm going to turn the pages here i am painting a background in my art journal with all of my left hand it could be involved with the paintbrush scraping on paint stencil and i will just only be using my left hand i'll be using my left hand for this whole live stream and then um, on that background, I am going to paint something representational, uh, probably birds, maybe two, one or two birds sitting on a branch. So I will be trying to paint something representational as well. So Mary, what are you going to do? Well, uh, I'm not going to do all my left hand. Um, that's my left, you know, non-dominant, my left. Um, I'm going to just do my background in my non-dominant hand. And then I'm going to paint, um, I'm going to, I think I'm going to do some stenciling and I have this uh, urge to do a dragonfly. Uh, so I think I'll do a dragonfly as well. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Do you, do you like dragonflies better or butterflies? Uh, I really like dragonflies. I, See, I, love, I love that, that the, the color, whatever you call it, that iridescent, yeah, that's the word, iridescent color on their wings, but they freak me out a little bit. Like, they make a buzzing sound or something. Do they make some uh, kind yeah. of buzzing sound? Yeah. That's yeah, true. it kind of freaks me out a little bit. Yeah. Like, so I, I guess I prefer butterflies. Yeah, I mean, I, I like butterflies too. You know, they're pretty. Uh, you can't, I mean, everything that, you know, is summer, like with relationship to insects except spiders. <laughs> and there's, I don't, I call them thousand acres. I don't like those either, but. Um, you know, it, it, all the little bugs that are out there. Uh, I'm working on that one for uh, Second Sunday. I'm oh, doing, I did that last night. I make, I'm doing it digital. I'm almost done with it. Uh, I just have to finish up a couple little things, but I'm almost done with it. So I was working on that yesterday a little bit. I have a brand new chair in my art room and it is fabulous. Oh, nice. Yeah, because that other Oh, you one. said it, it was an er ergonomic, ergonomic chair? Yeah, ergonomic. So we'll see how it works. I could just get a little closer to my... Well, this is pretty good, I guess. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, my light is... Uh-oh. Not the best. Uh, maybe because I have day... I have sunlight coming through the window, like, because I have the curtain up and... Okay, that... It always does that rolling when I have a blank page. So quickly, I want to get on color, and then it's not rolling that bad. So I'm going to get some color on. Yeah, um, I am going to use my chalky gesso in green. Chalky gesso? Yeah, it's by Deco Arts. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm hoping I can do this <laughs> without. <laughs> um okay so yeah, even the porn yeah i like to put gesso on in this uh journal because it, it it's uh and this is very thick i'm skipping gesso this is mixed media papers by strathmore oops okay. by strathmore 90 pounds and it's really good it's very thick paper so i'm skipping gesso and I'm, right away I, I have brand new metallic paints that i've had for a few weeks that i haven't and i'm just gonna i'm going right on scraping on metallic paints with cool colors. I'm going to use, for my background, I'm going to use blue, greens, and purples. Oh, that'll be pretty. Yeah, this is awkward, all right. <laughs> yes, I mean, I'm not doing such a great job getting this one, actually. We'll see what happens. Now, are you right-handed, too? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then... Bruce from Vermont Paint Studio in the poll, he he also said paint with both hands. And also he said, and or paint a food product. I'm like, paint a food? Oh, I wow. Think he means paint on, I have to ask him, does he mean paint on a food product or paint a, I don't think he means paint a picture of a food product. Oh. But 
So I, I messaged him. I gave him a link to this because, well, I'm not going to use both. Well, maybe later on in the stream, I might use both hands, like both hands together. But uh -huh. right now I'm painting with my non-dominant hand because a few viewers had said that, requested okay. that. I mean, it, girl, it's going on anyways. <laughs> it's going on. The just is going on. That's all that matters, I guess. Yeah, it's like I can't control it as good. Oh, I want to put the background music on. Hold on. It was on, but that got. Oh, I thought it was. I could hear it. It was on, but it okay. jumped off when I. After I so, oh, um. I'm sorry. Can I hear that? I can hear this. Wait. Yes, the background music yeah, is it's there. there. So, we're not simulcasting anymore because uh, YouTube doesn't like the fact that we did that. <laughs> Oh, yes, that's right. Last week we tried for the first time and Bruce at Vermont Paint and Studio was very interested. He was going to try it on his channel. But Bruce, we have bad news for you. Uh, no, YouTube, yeah. they let us get away with it once. We didn't know we because I'm sure they don't even post that anywhere. It's not like we broke community guidelines. I don't think they even have that posted anywhere that we're not that they don't like that. So we got we were able to do it last week only. And then they um, now, if you're, you have to be an owner, and you can assign people. You can assign somebody else as an owner. I'm not sure if there can be more than one owner. I don't know if I don't, that kind. I don't think there could be more than one owner of a channel. I because I, I just didn't even look into that because I don't want the liability of being an oh, owner. Yeah, yeah. So you have to be. You have to assign somebody the role of owner, not just manager. Last week, Mary had assigned me the role of manager on her channel, and that way we were able to assign her channel as a destination in StreamYard. But um, now StreamYard, not StreamYard, it was not StreamYard. YouTube says, no, you have to assign the person the role of owner to be able to dual, dual live stream on two different channels. Yeah, I, I knew something was wrong because uh, when I went in to do that, because we had lost the, the, you know, manager thing, uh, when I went in, something was missing like i had two things that i could do and then there was only one like a personal thing and uh it it changed it all hi patrick Ford. hi patrick hi jesse yes yeah and so they kind of bummed me out they always do stuff that you know but that's the way life is i know that one of the people that um are in team build uh ranger he got demonetized on one of his channels because of something what recently yeah he he uh i guess it was just recent i don't know what channel i don't know uh it's i don't think it's his ranger first one it's the second one and uh he got demonetized i think that's oh. what it was Ah. Yeah, so uh, they're getting a little strict, so you got to be careful in what you're doing, I guess. Well, uh -huh. so yes, uh, Jesse, we are, are the challenge. Um, I had, I put a poll on my, I, as you know, you, because you answered my poll, I put a poll on my community tab last week, and uh, some of the viewers requested painting with the non-dominant hand so that's what i'm doing today for the whole first right now i'm just painting a background and then i'll be painting something representational i'll be painting one or two birds on a branch all with, i'm using only my left hand today and mary mary tell, tell jesse what you're doing yeah i'm gonna do some of the background with my left hand but when i get down to the nitty-gritty i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna be drawing a um dragonfly and i would like to do it with my my dominant hand because uh i don't want to screw it up uh, and i know that's what would happen if i did and i um i'm making these books for my grandkids so i want them to have nice stuff <laughs> i don't want them to have something screwy in there they'll say what happened to grandma <laughs> so I Wait, that's for the illustrations the book illustrations uh, no, no, I'm I'm working on that. That's the next. Oh, that's di that. You do that digital. What What are you yeah. talking about? You're using this dragonfly picture for what? Well, no, it, it's these books that I'm making, these uh, journal books that I have my paintings in, 
I plan on giving them to my grandkids. Um, I have one done, but I can't give one to one and then not the other. So as soon as I get through this one, I'll give it to. Oh, uh, you're talking about just your regular art journals. You're giving them to your kids. Yeah, right? these ones that we work on, on our, you know, streams and stuff. Uh-huh. Yeah, I thought they, well, you know, it's something for them to have a memory of me. Right, that's nice. Yeah, so. Um, Let's they, see who's in the chat. They get a kick out of me being on YouTube. It's, My picture looks dark, so I don't know why. I, I can never, I can never win with this. Okay. Well, that was pretty Ooh. good. My side thing. looks good. Yeah, it looks nice. <laughs> I wouldn't be able. I to mean, do what that. do you think? Don't you don't you think my image looks kind of dark? I it's mean, I'm dark. talking about the lighting. Yeah, it looks dark, but for doing it with your left hand, it looks pretty good. Oh, I know that. Well, thank you that part. But I'm talking about the the lighting. Uh, my 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 live stream light. This. I'm just yeah, saying it. It's a little dark. Yes, and I can never, I'm always working on, like, I even cost, contacted oh. customer service of, um, budget cameras, and they, and after a whole thing, about, try this, try that, try that, and not just this, because I had this rolling, rolling shadow problem, that was severe, that was a severe problem, oh, and we, yes. we did, we, um, I think I might have resolved something about that, but eventually they just said, okay, we're going to send you a new camera. So I, I haven't tried out my new camera yet because I don't have high hopes for it, but that it would even, that it would be any different than this one, but okay, maybe I should. Get it like me with my glasses after everything, I've still, I still don't have my new glasses. It's been since October. I haven't been able to see good. So they called me and told me yesterday that my glasses are in for the third time. Uh -huh. So I, I just, I'm afraid to go and get them because I don't know. <laughs> you know and they refused to pay me the money for uh the extra money i had to put into my second pair so, so. oh i like i'm liking how this is going I, I kind of do like how with your left hand you can con you control less and sometimes you can have some really nice effects with being able to with less control yeah, I think that's true. I'm just waiting for this to dry a little bit. So. Yeah, I have some powders I want to try. I don't even know how to use these to tell you some the what? truth. Some what? These little Mika powders. Uh -huh. I want to try right. those on my, um, my dragonfly. For iridescent to get the iridescent yeah because it says it's a chameleon type thing so um i think it'll chameleon be kind of type fun. color you mean what are you yeah, talking about? It, yeah it'll change it has like a chameleon effect and what's the, what's the brand name of that uh let's resin I, I red it has something to do with resin yeah i guess you can resin with this you can do various things with it uh not necessarily just you know uh resin stuff it said in the hi kim kim savvy's here hi, hi kim uh jordan mahoney the blind world oh hi jordan jordan mahoney the blind the blind world comes to us from dublin ireland hi jordan you guys painting with it i've been challenged on my poll last week Maybe you could, um, you want to take my, uh, answer my questions on my poll, Jordan Mahoney, on my poll. I know Kim Savvy already did. Thank you so much. I ha I put out a poll for what people would love to see on my channel. And one of them was um, the thing that won with the most percentage, like 50 or 50 or more percent. The thing that won was artist, artist life vlog. And I just posted an, an artist life vlog yesterday. And I, and I think I'm going to try to be posting one every Monday. So Jordan, you might want to look at that. My artist life vlog. Yeah, that and, was good. And, and go and then that. go vote. Go vote on my my poll for what you would love to see on my channel. Yeah, but today uh, we're I painting with our non-dominant hand. That was they were challenged. Some of the viewers challenged me to do that. 
Oh yeah, what, Mary? Yeah, I didn't see that uh, that to vote. I I know you had something the week before. Um, no, but to vote, yeah. no, I'm just talking about the you didn't the the poll that you voted on. That's the one I'm talking about. It was just last oh, really? week. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had like I have like uh thirty votes. Oh wow. Okay. Well, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, well, I didn't. I didn't just put the poll there and let people know. I, I, I messaged people on Instagram. I told people on Instant Messenger. I and and whatever to get people's in, to get people to come to the poll. You can't oh, just good. put the poll there and expect people are going to go there. Like I yeah. message people saying, "What would you love to see on my channel? Please respond to this poll." Yeah, well, that was a good idea then. Mm -hmm. That was good. Yeah. Oh, I guess I could start putting stuff down. So I'm painting my background right now, and right now I'm scraping the paint off. And then I'm going to paint something representational. So right now I'm painting something that's just abstract with my left hand. That's my non-dominant hand. And then I will be trying to paint something representational with my left hand, my non-dominant hand. How are you doing, Kim Savian, Jordan? this is fun <laughs> yeah this is interesting what painting with your left hand what you're doing yeah, I'm doing it. yeah i'm scraping it on you know i've got like one of these yeah. rubber brushes oh i'm, I'm happy i have this look oh this is pretty with the purple the plum blue and green i just wanted yeah. it in cool colors my background that's nice thank you i finished i finished putting the background on This is kind of uh, reflect greenery, I think, for mine because of the dragonfly. Let's see. So let's see who's in the, I mean, I know who else is in the chat and if they answer any questions. I think people are just saying hello. Okay, I'm gonna try oh, to make he us. He just voted. He just voted, so he went to vote. Yeah, Thank you, Jordan. Tell me what you voted for. Jordan. Oh, or I think it was Jaden. Jaden just voted. Oh, Jaden. Jaden, what did yeah. you vote for? Tell me what you voted for. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Miss um, Kim. I sent you the link in Instagram to my um, new vlog, to my artist vlog, and I'm going to put it out every Monday. But I know you had the question of what is what's my inspiration, and um, I'm going to answer that question next week, next Monday. I did not answer that question in this week, this week's vlog, but I do remember you asked that question. She's got a lot of inspiration. Okay. I have a lot of inspiration. Yeah, I think so. Because you come up with some good ideas. Well, I'm, I'm not going to. Okay, I'm, okay, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to answer to respond to that because I'm going to. I'm going to keep that a secret for my blog next week. Okay. <laughs> and speak more on that because because I'm going to speak more on that next week uh, in my okay. blog. Yeah, I can't out, wait to see it. That okay. comes out every Monday. Yeah, that'll be cool. I want to watch. I watch. I watched it this week. That was nice. I wish I felt better. I could do more stuff. I. I'm getting lazy as the days go on. Oh, Kim, how's your leg? Because you were saying it was bothering you. I've been saying prayers for you. Oh, Jaden, well, I just, you're luck. You're in luck. You just voted for the thing that most people voted for at 50, 50 or more percent. And, and Jaden, um, I just put out day in the life artist blog yesterday. So, so go check it out. We got to see your cats sitting on a chair. They were cute. 
Your big cat. My 20 pound cat and my yeah. And my 13 pound cat. Well, this takes for uh, a long time to do with your left hand. It's it, not it did quick. take longer, yeah. Yeah, it's not a quick process. I guess this, what do you think of, now I just switched it, the camera to make us so we see no background and we only see our two, two of us. Oh. Do, you, do you, does that look does that look better can you does that look better through youtube don't look at it through Streamyard. does that look better through youtube let's see i think i'm on youtube yeah it does it does make a difference okay i just have to be uh careful here because some of mine doesn't show up but um because my uh journal is pretty large here mine's only eight and a half by 11 and opened up then it would be 17 by 11 and i can't even show everything hmm. mine well i show be most of it most of it shows let me let me move the camera wait is this one i think my camera's too close but i can't lift it up i might be able to lift it up a little bit but it will show differently Oh, lots of people lurking. We have ten watching, but only a but um only a fraction of that who are actually talking in the chat. But hello, lurkers! So nice you're here. Welcome, welcome. We don't bite. You can say hello in the chat. We don't bite. Thank you. Oh, uh, well, Kim. Today's not a great day, but we'll see how I'm. You know, it's it, 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 the weather affects me. Because this weather keeps jumping around, and I just wished it would stay like at one temperature. Yeah, I don't know what affects me. Uh, with my, I have, I just just starting last the beginning of last year, I started getting pains in my hands, and I'm like, because I started working out with a trainer too, and I thought, oh. I don't, I never had a problem with my hands maybe it's tendonitis so i had to i had to go to the doctor and actually get get an x-ray so i could determine is it tendonitis or arthritis and it turns out it's arthritis and it comes and goes and it doesn't depend on weather at all it's like oh really it, it, it's like for no reason like for a while it would go away it would like be like minimal and wouldn't even bother me that much and then sometimes like the past few days and or maybe the past week maybe it's the past week or two that it's in my left hand it's worse and that hurts and it's like so bad so and i can't even pinpoint anything like no, there's nothing to do with the weather oh well, uh, well that uh yeah i it seems like me with the weather i mean i can always tell when it's gonna get like rain or uh, yeah you know i can't yeah, now everything yeah yep. yeah now today everything's hurting i don't i have no idea what what it is um why it's hurting like that but nothing even helped like usually tylenol you know will ease it up a little bit but nothing eased it up then there's glucosin might or whatever i can't even oh, say it right but, and my husband told me to start trying it so i only just started taking two a day which is just a supplement it's not a it's not a, a drug it's a supplement and some people that really helps people so i have to see whether it's going to help me i just started taking to see whether it can help me well, uh, I have my dog on that, and it did help for a while. Now, oh. she, I know that sounds kind of silly, but uh, she's she's getting older, you know, and slowing down. So I put her on the glucosamine, and she hasn't been feeling good right now. So I took her off of it for a little bit. She's um, I bought some I bought something at the pet store. It's a topper on your food. And it's supposed to be good for joint health because you know with her pain and everything so uh of course i gave it to her and it made her sick and she's been having issues um so i'm just keeping her off of everything just giving her like uh chicken and rice to settle her stomach i said uh it's sad you know when they they get sick because they can't tell you what's wrong you know oh gosh of course they can't tell you what's wrong so yeah so, so 
I just finished painting my background all with my non-dominant hand, which is my left hand, and that went it went that went pretty good. Just scraping on the paint, and now with the paint brushes, now I'm going to start painting something representational. I'm going to start trying to paint up one or two birds on a branch. Well, I'm I'm almost done painting my background here, and then I'm going to have to dry it with the hair dryer because a lot of it's pretty thick. So, uh, hi, Travel Dreams. Nice to see you. And they say hi. I like the colors you used on the blue journal. Heard about your heard about you from Grayscale Painting and the RBDJ. Oh yeah, welcome. Nice. Yeah, Grayscale's a very good, uh, very good friend. He he often he almost come almost always comes to our streams. Yes, he does. He's a loyal follower. <laughs> He's done some really pretty flowers lately, too. Right. Um, he's very talented. Well, these two interviews I have this weekend, I think you'll really like them. They're both artists. And uh, okay. they should be very interesting. Oops. I love, uh, like, you know, seeing other people's works. It's kind of cool, you know. Okay, I'm going to be using the hair dryer now, so. Okay, she's using the hair dryer. Yeah, so I'm going to use my left hand to dry this, too. <laughs> Boy, this looks oh, like you this. don't have to, but okay. Yeah, well. Hi, Justin Malo. Oh, so people are coming. Oh, Miss. Hi, Justin Mail. So nice for you to be. Oh, hi, Scratch and Pete. So, Scratch and Pete was one of the people that requested this for me to paint with my non dominant hand. So, already I just painted this. I scraped on the paint with a, because sometimes you don't have to always use a paintbrush. You can scrape on paint. So, you just missed it, Pete. I just, but you yeah. can always play the replay. I just, I, I just scraped on all this paint with all of my non dominant hand. And I'm only using cool colors, blue, green, and purple, which I really like that. Now I am going to paint something representational and I'll be mostly using a paintbrush and I'm painting about, I'm going to paint one or two birds on a branch and I will be doing that all with my non-dominant hand. Please share this out. You guys give thumbs up and share this out. Yes. Share it out. I wonder if I put mine like this. Justin and Justin and Pete, how are you doing? Am I doing good? Oh, I'm fro I froze for a minute. So yeah, I just turned my journal vertical, so I think that shows up better on the camera. Justin, did you vote in my poll last week? I have it on my community tab. You have to scroll down a bit, but I just posted a, a big, I just posted a poll for what you would love to see on my channel. I scratch, everybody in here all voted. They all voted. So go, go vote because right now I'm, I've already done three requests this in the past seven days. I've already uh, done, completed three requests. Let's see. The thing that was voted on the most was, 
do a um, artist vlog, art, artist life vlog. And I just posted that yesterday. Oh, you saw that, Justin. Yeah, because people, the voters, the viewers voted on, on that the most. That's the one that won. But then also another one that didn't win, but I mean, still people um, voted on was uh, painting while I dance. Oh, I just posted that like a few days ago, dancing while I paint. Then, and then the other one was paint. A few people requested painting with your non-dominant hand. And that's one that, um, Scratch and Pete, that's one thing. He, he had two comments that, thank you for giving me two ideas, Pete. Pete gave, um, in the comments, put two different ideas. The other idea he put in the comments was, uh, take a painting that you, a previous painting that you already did and redo it in a different style was that right Pete? Ah. he said re repaint it in a different style cool oh, this is not, oh my goodness so painting this with non-dominant hands is going to be pain oh it's going to be <laughs> This is uh well I'm the, using the, a stencil right now so I can the background was oh yeah the background was easy with the left hand it felt weird it feels weird but it, felt, it was easy now painting something representational with my left hand is now I heard I read that when you paint with your non when you create art with your non dominant hand it's there's one theory that it it gets you in touch with it makes you in touch with your inner child Ooh. that and then i there's some other theory i forget that's out there when you paint with your non-dominant hand something interesting well lordy no only knows what's going to happen here when i take this stuff off Oh, that that went not that went not bad. I mean, this didn't get this went pretty good. Oh, so that's far. good. Wow, well, yeah. Good job. <laughs> I think Steve's on the phone because he can't uh, hear downstairs. Something happens in our the man cave. And do you have a babe cave? Is that your art room? Your art room would be your babe cave? Yeah, I guess it would be. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of, uh, yeah, I'm always in. Steve will come home from the gym. Are you in there again? <laughs> yeah, I'm always in here. Yeah. No, we, our house, it, it, I, it's a 200 plus year old house and it's not big enough. And most people, when they retire, they want to downsize. No, we want to upsize because this house is not big enough for, for my husband to even have a man cave. It's not like we have a unfit. It's not like we have a finished basement. We don't have a finished space. We do have a basement. It's not a finished space. We do not have a family room. It's this house is not big enough. I just want a house that's bigger in that it would have a family room and a finished basement. Okay, I'm asking just for those two things, and that would that would be great because then he could make the family room or something into a man cave, and I could make the unfinished basement into an art studio. Right, right. Oh, that would be so nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice because he he goes down there and he watches his his programs. Yeah, nice. He likes, yeah. We're not like uh, fighting for the remote, you know. Oh, uh, we don't watch TV. I mean, oh, uh, we on the TV. We have one thing going all the time: the um, Soundscapes Music Channel. And if we don't play wow. Soundscapes Music Channel with that, that's all mellow music. Then, it, then the only other music channel we play is rock hits. And uh -huh. other than that, nothing. Like sometimes my husband turns on CNN while he's eating. That's it. That's it. No, we don't watch. No, we watch. We watch YouTube all the time. Well, that's that's how I am. See, I'm a YouTube watcher. Uh, he he'll watch music videos and stuff. I think he watches some of the YouTube too now because there's just nothing on. 
And it's well, I don't even know. I'm out of touch with TV. I don't even know what I I stopped watching TV a long time ago. Because if you want to watch TV series, like old TV series, you can get them on Amazon Prime. An Amazon Prime um, video. I I watched I've watched most of the whole Monk, the old TV series Monk oh, with yeah, the yeah. neurotic detective. And then yeah. I've, I've watched tons of TV series like through that. Right, right. Not current ones. Like I watched old, old episodes and seasons of Project Runway, another one of my favorites. Uh huh. Oh, okay, so yeah, yeah, you can watch different things like that too. Yeah, I've, I've seen those. On, oh, the, oh, this looks cool. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but let's see what's going on in the chat. So there's, that's my bird with my non-dominant hand. Yeah, that's what he said. Next, another challenge he said was repaint in a different style. So what, Pete, so what do you mean? Like, so if I had done, I don't know, repaint, repaint in a different style. Like, you know, I guess that would mean like if it was abstract and, cause I never, I actually paint representational and with some abstract, with a lot of abstract elements, but not abstract. What am I saying? Um. I'd have to think about that, Pete. I have to think about that how I paint a different style now that you now that you mention it. I just maybe I would paint it in different colors, make it Oh, I, I guess I have to think about it. I guess I, maybe I could think I oh I could paint it like in a style of all flat colors. That would be interesting. Like paint repaint it and then paint it repaint it in the style of like all flat colors. That would be a different style. That's what comes to my mind. How do you like this, you guys? Look at this. I painted this with my non-dominant hand. Okay, I'm not done, but that's just a start. Oh, it's good. Thank you. Well, I've got my... Hi, Vermont. Bruce is here. Hi, Vermont. What's hey. Pop-Tarts. What's Pop... Vermont, what do you mean Pop-Tarts? What do you mean no Pop-Tarts? Thank you, Justin. What do you mean pop? I, I've seen the word pop tarts on your channel, Vermont, and I always never knew what that meant. I don't know what the pop tarts means. Please explain. I am trying to get this up higher so you can see more. Okay, I want to use I want to use my colors up from this morning. I was painting this morning. Let's use my colors up. Okay, I don't want green on that bird. Let's use purple. I'm making a fantasy colored bird. I don't know what purple and okay. let this dry a little bit, and then I'll start to work in the. Um... Oh God, painting the two legs. I'm afraid of painting those two legs. Okay, hold on, I gotta paint these two little legs and I'm not using the tiniest paint. I should get, I should switch paint brushes. Hold on. Yeah, use a tiny paint brush. Or use an acrylic paint marker. I might I might do that. I think I'm gonna use an oh, acrylic yeah, that paint marker. Oh yeah, that would be a good thing. Okay, two legs. Okay, um, where would they go? They go like this. Okay, like that. Oh, that looks pretty good. Diana, oh. you're, you're doing good for your lefty hand. I'll fix that. One leg is fatter than the other, but I'll, I can fix that later. That's a good thing about acrylic. You can, you can always fix mistakes unlike watercolor watercolor you can you can fix a mistake to make it darker but you can never fix a mistake to make it lighter okay I'm now the tree branch kind of draw i'm going to see if i can draw a leaf 
dragonfly. Yes, Mary's painting a dragonfly, I'm, and I'm gonna paint one. But she she only painted her background with her non-dominant hand. I um since I'm the one, so she chooses not to paint her whole picture, yeah. which that's fine because it's, it was my child. I mean, they challenged me anyway. So <laughs> yeah, I have to go to my right hand because it just uh, flew off the page there. Let's see, I'm practicing. Let me see if I go like the, if I put the tree branch like that. Then what am I putting up here? Oh, okay. I'll just put the tree branch like that. Okay, hold on. Ah, okay, let's go right there under the legs and up where. So that's probably okay. Well, that's <laughs> oh, that branch looks pretty good. Well, a branch can be wobbly. It, actually, a branch should not be perfectly straight, so that's okay. That's right. I was just trying to get the, just trying to decide the location of it. That's right. That looks good. Thank you. Then, while it's still wet, I think I can paint in there so that I can drag some of that brown marker in there. I'm just getting some grasses in here. Please share this out, you guys. Share and thumbs up. Oh, you got 12 thumbs up. Oh, 10 plus thumbs up. You guys know what that means. Here we go. Oh, you guys have a new happy dance. It's a, it's a, uh, oh, here's happy dance. 3.0. Happy Dance 3.0. Hold on, let me see if I'm. Okay, this is new. Okay, cool. Just a moment. Here I am. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Happy Dance 4.0. And it's. It's me dancing while I paint. Oh, 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 that was so cool. Okay. Um, I almost removed that because I'm embarrassed that I did that, but whatever. Why? My husband said, no, you were having fun. I'm like, okay, That's yes, it. I was having fun. You were, yeah, it was neat. I, I thought that... <laughs>
Gaswina. Hello, Gaswina. Gaswina. And hello, uh, OPM Art, Stu- Artist Studio is here. Awesome. awesome. And um, who else? Hello. There was somebody else. Oh, yes. Mi- the Magic. Let me get her name right. Let me get her name. Right. The, oh, Magnificent Germany's here. Hi, old friend. And yeah. Oh, yeah. You call me live. And wait, there's somebody else here. Yeah, PM Artist Studio and the Magical the Magic Touch Studio. Studio. What was she called? Magical Touch Studio. Magical, Magical Touch Studio. Hello. Welcome. And wow, I want to read comments. Um, now I got to read comments. Hold on. Yes, we painted, we finished painting. I mean, I'm using my non-dominant hand the whole time. And I am, I d- painted my whole background. I scraped it on with my left hand using a, uh, I have a spatula scraper. And then now I just painted this bird with my left, with my non-dominant hand. And I'm finished painting the branch and I'm, and I'm waiting for that base c- c- colors to dry on that bird. So yes, I, I painted something non-representational. Now I am painting something representational. And and um and Mary, what you want to tell people what you're doing? Yeah, I'm going to be drawing um a dragonfly, and this is just kind of from memory. So, uh, but I think I can do it. I'm gonna wait till this dries a little bit so I can get it in there. I'm gonna use a chalk pencil, I think. And Mary only painted her background with her non-dominant hand. It, um, so she chooses to paint the dragonfly with her dominant hand. But I, I since they challenged me and it was on my voting poll and on for my channel for my voting poll, I honor the I I certainly honor the challenge and in, in completing working only with my non-dominant hand today. Grumpy, stop barking. And it's. Okay, let me finish reading comments. Hold on. For the sake. Um, no such thing as a mistake. Uh, PM Artist Studio says no such thing as a mistake. Only opportunities for problem solving. Yeah, that's true. More more painters should should do a non-dominant hand challenge oh yeah the travel dreamer says more more painters should do a non-dominant hand challenge both are very nice thank you kim savvy the pop tart painting was fun Oh wait, he's gonna explain what the pop tart. Let's so, scrolling up, reading, paint on a pop tart. Oh really? You paint? Uh, oh, you paint on a pop tart. He paints on an actual pop tart. Oh wow. Huh. That's so. That's what your comment was about when you said painting on a food product, a food item. I could. Well, let's see, Magnificent Germany, who's an expert about German tr- travel to Germany, says, I caught you live instead of a replay. Oh, off. Awesome. Yeah, so nice to see you again, Magnificent Germany. Do it in watercolor. Oh, okay, I caught up with comments. So mm. mine is just a, uh, like a fantasy kind of dragonfly. Yeah, I think I'm going to be doing a fantasy type bird. <laughs> but you know, I, I don't think it could be fantasy because there are birds that there are birds that are just crazy looking and you're like wow the realistic real birds really look like that yeah that's true that's you know what true. i mean like i've seen some crazy looking birds yeah yeah there are some unusual looking things okay now i'm trying to paint in this 
What do you, Mary, what do you think about making mistakes in art? Uh, I hate when I make a mistake, but, you know, like, if, if you, you can sometimes, like, especially with acrylic, you can go back and fix something, you know, um, do you ever feel like it's a learning experience? Yeah, yeah, like, uh, a lot of times, like, I'll just throw that thing out or something if I really can't stand it, I mean, you know, I used to, I don't know, there's many times when I don't like finish a painting because I don't like the way it's going or um but I think with acrylic that's the thing that makes it nice is you can actually kind of just go over it again you know it doesn't necessarily yes. have to be a total mistake you know now yes right and I unlike Mary who says I don't know how often she does this, but she says she doesn't finish. She'll not finish a painting because she doesn't like it. For me, I always, I do always finish things. I always finish them. And then I try. And when I see how things are not going, how I like, I just keep trying harder. I just like, I try to, okay, I step away. I come back. I ask for feedback. And I do always, I usually always finish something. But the, the one thing that happens is that I'll think I finished something and I'm like, oh no, I could do this. Oh no, I could do that. No, I'm going to add this. I could change that. And I feel like something is never done because I'm always looking at old artwork and I'm like, oh no, I, I think I want to change that on that. And I would, I, you know, I, I would do this, a little, little tweaks, just little tweaks here yeah. and there. Yeah. Um, sometimes, you know, like I, I haven't done that recently. I mean, um, I, I can't tell you the last time that I kind of screwed something up that I didn't really like. But uh, sometimes those are the ones people like, too. Because oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes, exactly. So you cannot like something. This has happened to me before. I had this painting. I have this exact, I have a story for that exact same, that exact example. I did a painting and the eyes were of a figure with, with a wolf and she and she's holding like an orb a blue magical orb and her eyes were wonky and i'm like oh my god i oh wait a minute i have to go back later i'm gonna go back i'm gonna go back later and fix those eyes i showed that online of a, a bunch of things i say like i was on a live stream i say okay a bunch of these paintings are available if you like them i mean and i happened to show that one and one of and somebody said oh i like that one and i like it because of the eyes the Isn't eyes is what got my attention and i'm like what <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the truth i mean that's what happens you know like people will like the ones that i think I, yes i think artists should not think that oh this has to be exactly how i want it i don't think an artwork is resolved just because it has to be resolved until you have it exactly the way you want it because i don't think so because i think that there's so many times that some somebody else could like it right they, they exactly. could still like it even if you totally didn't think it, it was resolved or you totally didn't like it right right isn't that funny that's the truth though yeah the truth. that was hard i just i just used my acrylic paint marker for that for the tree branch but that's okay because the tree branch can be an organic shape i just had to make sure i'd made that angle the way I wanted and stuff and I made these little knobs in the branch which that's totally like looking like real like organic like oh and yeah now I'm trying to think um what what colors I really want for the bird like I, I want to try to use up colors but I think I got to get more new colors out Ugh. I'm thinking blue and no, let's see warm colors. Cause already my background is cool colors. So how about some warm colors? Maybe uh, some pinks and pinks and uh, okay. Dance, I, dance that eighty-seven is here. Oh hi, dance eighty-seven. That's an old friend who is a dance. Do you still do dancing like a dance channel? Aren't you like a dance? Are you still a dancing channel? Thank you for joining. Oh, hi, Paul. Paul, do you know, did you read the title? Do you know what we're doing? We're we're painting with our non-dominant hand. So far, I've painted this whole picture with my non-dominant hand. Background, and now I'm working on the bird. 
Now, oh, uh, now but, Mary is, uh, she switched to her dominant hand. She painted her background with her non-dominant hand, but she's switching to her dominant hand to paint the dragonfly. But for me, since I, I'm honoring the challenge, since it was a challenge on my, from, on my, my request for me anyway, it was specifically for me. So I am honoring the challenge since it was specifically for me to uh, paint with my non-dominant hand the whole time. Oh, one more, one more like. Did you give a thumbs up on your way in? Please give a thumbs up because uh, one more thumbs up for the for the next happy dance, and you'll see my my newest version of my happy dance. Happy dance 4.0. <laughs> okay. Okay. Time for a little drink of lemonade. Well, we got the body in. Wow, you're drinking lemonade? Yeah, I'm drinking some lemonade. Oh, that's cool. It, what, you made it? No, it's not. Uh, it's from a little package. It's supposed you, to be low in calorie. Oh, uh, do you ever make homemade lemonade, like from scratch? Yeah, I've made it a few times. Yeah, um, it tastes pretty good uh, when you make it like that, you know. Uh, it's just that you have to use so much sugar. <sighs> the closest I've come to making lemonade was last about a year ago. I painted as I painted a hyper a, like a hyper realistic picture, like photorealistic picture of a picture of lemonade on digital. I can only do photorealism in digital. Digital, I created like is is like photorealistic as I could possibly get it a picture of lemonade oh, a, wow. not a picture of, of you know a picture p-i-t-c-h-e-r a picture of lemonade yeah I'll show Mary yeah. sometimes very realistic I got the oh. glass I love painting like realistic looking glass oh nice yeah that's um that's hard to do you know to paint like uh any kind of vase or picture oh well, yeah but and digital i found it's much easier like i don't i can't i cannot do photorealism that much that well in acrylic but i can i can do it i can do it better in digital yes yes <sighs> so the bird had the pink head and some pink tail and It's gonna have more, I'm not done. I'm still working on it. All with my non-dominant hand. You're doing good. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just taking my time. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Oh, I thought we We gotta get some eyes on our little bugger here. Um, hmm. Oh, 15 thumbs up. Okay. That's cool. Great. Here, now you, everybody can see my new happy dance.
Thank you for the 15, 15 thumbs up. <laughs> we got a guy with Jif head too. That's pretty cool. Yeah, hey, Jif Lady has a boyfriend. Grayscale says, Jif Lady has a boyfriend? I'm, yes. <laughs> I discovered Jif Lady has a boyfriend just recently. <laughs> Yeah, and the yeah. animated stickers. <laughs> mm. Wow, yours is coming along. That's nice. Yeah, it's starting to shape up a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah, Paul, we figured it out what the echo was. It was cause it was because Mary was using a second camera, which normally you would think, okay, that's not gonna be I mean a second camera showing her and then her other camera shows her hands. And normally you would think that's not and it took forever to figure out that was the problem. It's like I, I thought it was my problem. Like it, I tried this, uh, adjusting this, adjusting that, and then we found out finally after maybe half an hour. <laughs> that it was uh, her and once she stopped using that second camera we're all good yep oh then. bye miss cam bye cam for hanging out uh, bye, bye, cam. yeah thanks for hanging out during your lunch time yeah that was nice thank you Okay, so I kind of goofed up on that one side there. Oh, well, let's see what dance dance eighty seven. I am have a break. You're having a break from dance. Oh, and Ken said that's the same thing that happens with her jewelry. She may not think it's so hot, but somebody else will love it. Yeah, <laughs> that's usually how it is. You know, it's uh, funny. <laughs> oh, God. And then Kim goes, when she made terrible mistakes in high school, in high school art class, she told the teacher, it's an abstract, don't you know? <laughs> oh she had i remember this was a while ago she told she had a horrible time with art in high school she said the teacher was it, it just the teacher made it so difficult for her oh and it really turned her off to doing art and i thought that's yeah. wow that's horrible you know that's that's the truth because like um i know when i was in beauty school we were learning how to do uh bleach and um the teacher made a big deal out of my bleach because it was the first time I did it. And I didn't, I mean, bleaching is very hard because you don't want to like cause breakage on the hair and things like that. So if you overlap it, it, it at least back then, you know, like it could cause breakage. So she made such a big deal out of my boo-boo. Oh, yeah. And um, I, I've always been afraid to do bleach because of that, you know. Uh, you just kind of get a fear. Really? Oh, yeah. She really screwed me up on that. I never liked doing and You can never color. talk to her after class about it or something? Oh, you know, like, back then, I mean, these these teachers, they were, they had egos, too, you know. They no, were we're not like, talking about Catholic school. Oh, no, no, no. This was beauty school when I went to cosmetology school, because it was a special school, you you know, um, they didn't have it in school, like, well, they did, but it wasn't like, uh, this particular school was Pittsburgh Beauty Academy, and it was a pretty good school at the time. Uh, and if you really wanted to be a good hairdresser, you went to Pittsburgh Beauty Academy, because a lot of the technical school, it wasn't as great, you know, they always said. so. There I am, you know, embarrassed as all get out because that, <laughs> that woman embarrassed the crap out of me. But, you know, you learn, things happen. 
And you just, and to this day, to this day, you never do bleaching? I have, I don't like to do it. I mean, I will do it, um, but I don't like it. I don't like to do it. Uh, I know when I was, went back after I retired from my position as a project manager and I went back and I had to do bleaches, I was, a, I was a nervous wreck. I was a nervous wreck doing but it. But you'll do other coloring? You'll do other coloring oh, jobs? yeah. Yeah, I don't have any problem. <laughs> but bleaching, I do. I, you know. But you know what? I did a couple bleaches and they turned out fine. It's just, you just have that in the back of your head, you know. I do that to myself. I've never really, I've never had anybody like just totally traumatize me like that on something. Just never. It's, I do it to myself. Yeah. I will traumatize myself. Well, that can happen too. You know, you get, I guess in a way that's kind of what I've done, you know, uh, because of that. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, it was a learning experience. It wasn't like I was, you know, we did each other. We were models for each other because that's how we learned. And, uh, yeah, you guys had to wait and you had to guys, how often did you have to get your, like, get your hair like done as an, as an example, like, Oh my gosh, every day. Every, every day, day you had to change your hairstyle and get your hairstyle changed for the yeah. for everybody to practice on you? Yeah, every day. Like um, one day it would be hair color. You know, you'd practice on how to apply it. Uh, one day would be um, permanent waves and you'd, you know, wrap a person's oh, hair. That, but, oh, that could be so stressful on your hair. Yeah, yeah, it was you'd walk out of there feeling pretty crappy, you know, but I, I mean, it was all for learning and, you know, you did learn a lot. I, it was, it was good that way. Uh, okay. I just painted some flowers. They're just base colors for flowers. Nothing's finished yet, but those flowers are pretty easy to paint, but still working on the bird. Cause I was just, I have a reference photo for the bird and, and I'm just trying to get um, inspiration from that reference photo for like all the little details I could add. Yeah. Oh, I like your flowers on there too, on the tree. That looks nice. Thank you. I, uh, I think I'm going to make his, the wings kind of like translucent if I can, uh, with blue. I mean, these colors really don't go together, I guess now, but that's like the green background. He's in the, he's in the greenery. So I'm going to see if I can kind of water that down. Slowly. Oh, quite an experience. I've, I've never painted a whole painting with my non-dominant hands. Quite, quite interesting. It feels yeah, it weird. Is. So weird. It feels weird having to, even just doing the background, I felt weird, you know. I don't know if I could color this in, maybe. We'll see how this works. Oh, uh, Travel Dreamer says someone that does that to a student is an imposter, not a teacher. Well, you know what? Yeah, that's what I think too. Um, there was no need for that, but that's the way they did it. That's how they taught you back then. You know, you you is in beauty school. It was it was a tough uh, tough class. Oh wait, let's see who's here. We have. Let me. Gr hello grumpy who's grumpy hello grumpy oh, oh they're talking about your dog your dog, oh, dog. Grumpy, what, about my, what about my dog let's see oh and paul said so i was right it was mary lol he, um he loves being right <laughs> well he likes to cut up on me <laughs> hi ktb arts hi ktb arts and i see you <laughs> paul likes to cut up on me <laughs> that's all right um, yeah, Grumpy, uh, is barking at everything right now. There was the mailman that came, so he's barking. He hears the truck out there and he starts, you know. Yeah. Sally's the one I'm worried about because she's not feeling good. And, um, hopefully she'll get better pretty soon and I have to take her to the vet. I don't know what's wrong with stream elements. Stream, I did, I just did settings. Stream elements used to work when I first 
implemented it, worked fine. And then I thought, oh no, it's like dropping the comments too. I mean, it's dropping messages too often. So I made adjustments on it and then it stopped dropping comments. And then I made, and then I went back to making adjustments again. And it's like, it, I don't know, I'll have maybe, I hope Stream Elements has customer service because I've got to ask them. Art says, hi, Grumpy. Hi, <laughs> Grumpy. <laughs> yeah, Grumpy is, uh, he's probably I'll out. I'll be right back. I have, a, I have to do a bathroom break. Okay. He's out in the front room. Well, that was pretty decent. I did that with my left hand. Let's see if I can do this. Hmm. This is a hard, hard thing to do, but I'm surprised that I'm controlling it as good as I am because it, especially over um, this being a little bit textured, the background. So Maybe this needs to be a little bit more this one needs to come up a little bit more there we go so um i'm back okay so diane i kind of like had, uh fell asleep last night during matt <laughs> uh, when we were doing matt matt uh his thing last night oh okay I um, but I do want to get in touch with him, and I want to ask him. A no, few I questions. know how to get in touch with him. You just do you just uh, email him? Well, well, I'm. You should be. You should try to add him as a friend on Facebook, and then and then you can be in touch with him on Instant Messenger. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. I, okay. I contact him on Instant Messenger, or yes, I'm sure he would respond to his email. Oh, you don't have his email address. No. Uh, okay, I'll, but, I'll give. You, I'll send you later his email address. Okay. He is so interesting. You should, you should on his website is also where you get take advantage of his whole thirty seven class free classes on how to how to how to uh, be awesome on YouTube. Yeah, I I have to start that. I've been so darn busy. That book I have. My daughter wants me to get that done oh, by June. And I have only, I'm working on one of these pictures right now and it's taken me forever. You know, she, uh, really? she doesn't realize how hard it is because you're painting each one individually. And well, it's not a painting. It's a, you know, it's like an uh, illustration, I guess. Mary is talking about illustrating a book, a, a children's book for with her daughter. So her daughter writes the children's book. They've already done, they've done a whole series of them. They sell them on Amazon. So her daughter writes the children's book and Mary illustrates them with like 75 illustrations. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Because now uh, Facebook wants you to have like 72 pages actually, but you know, to actually make those pages, you have to like draw quite a few. Now this one is going to be about, I can, I can give you a little hint about groundhogs. <laughs> groundhogs. So, groundhogs day? Is about yeah. Groundhog day? Yeah, it's going to be about groundhogs day. So we're going to make a, oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Oh, we're going to make a trip up to Punxsutawney and see if we can see them you know oh, and also if you could sell the book there what about that well like go, to their, go to their public library yeah um we have to see what we can do you know i want to get some pictures because i know um years ago when i was working i had been on a, a road trip and i went through punxsutawney and they have a building which has like uh 
Punxsutawney on it. Welcome to Punxsutawney. Right. And I think they have like a groundhog on that. And I want to get that picture and kind of cartoon it, you know. One of my all-time favorite movies, Groundhog Day with Bill Murray. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've watched that many times. That's one of my all-time favorite movies. So, Who I likes Groundhog Day by Bill Murray? Yes. Yes. Good. Uh, yeah, he's funny. Okay, so I'm going to put some... I'm going to put some things now i also have to uh put that stuff on but i don't know how to do that i'm gonna have to see if i can find well, it if it's the same thing as my stuff you sprinkle it on the paper and then you spray it with water you spray it oh i see okay okay well i'll see if i can do that i'm gonna give them some little oh it's right here okay I had to look a little bit to see about getting his little feet and things in. Yeah, there is something on here. Okay. It's going better than I thought it would probably go with my left hand. Yeah, I did the wings with the left hand. Yeah, and then you went back to doing, you were, I saw you just working on something in the background, the plants. Yeah, I did that with the left hand. So I did a little bit. Uh, you might hear Steve practicing. Uh, usually you say that and we never do. <laughs> Yeah, I can hear them, but it you, you know, can hear them, but the, the, for it to really show up here, like on yeah, that's kind okay. of a different story for us to hear it. We we surely can hear Grumpy. Oh yeah, yeah, you can hear him. <laughs> what a character that dog is! Well, I'll tell you. Painting highlights on the tree branch now. I'm painting highlights uh, orange. Don't paint. Don't use white as a highlight on a tree branch. It'll look like snow. So I am using like a peach or something like orange. Just orange. Orange blends in with the brown. Well, now I just got all that Mika it exploded on my hand. Uh. <laughs> oh, such fun. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's best when you can laugh. <laughs> yeah, weird. I got. All, I don't know if you can see it on my hands. Oh boy. Oh wow, that's gonna be pretty. Yeah, he's got a gig this uh, Saturday. Or, yeah, right. Saturday. Ligonier. Is that right. far from you? Yeah, that's about an hour and a half. Yeah. yeah. So. Oh, I'm so surprised about that. Paul said yes. He loves Groundhog's Day, and he said it was not filmed in Pennsylvania. It was filmed 19 miles from where he lives in Illinois. Oh, really? Well, I'm surprised. I, I would just, I could have sworn that they probably should. Well, I, I wouldn't know. I'm not a resident there, but they would. They were showing real footage of um, Puxatani, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Well. Um... I guess in those that time when they made that movie, uh, 
they weren't filming a whole bunch in Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh, and the area around here. Now, I know Tom Hanks is doing a movie, and he's been seen around here pretty much. Wow. Yeah. Well, they, been... they film a lot of movies in Philadelphia. Guess what? It, they? It, yes, they do. They film a lot of films in Philadelphia. And but one of the, the most one of the most famous um, film directors that came comes from the Philadelphia area is the guy that uh, filmed that directed the movie The Sixth Sense. Oh and, yeah, yeah. And so and that was filmed and that that shows all the kind of scenery in Philadelphia. Whereas other movies, it could be filmed in Philadelphia, but not necessarily that, that they're trying to show Philadelphia. It's just filmed here. Oh okay. But in the sixth sense, he um he he did want to show this the scenery of Philadelphia. That was a good movie. I oh like yeah, that. I saw that a long time ago. But man, that yeah, that was a good movie. Yeah. And then the and then the movie he, break something about a train accident that he filmed after that. I didn't. I didn't oh like yeah. That one. That was with uh, Denzel Washington. Was that the I one? I don't remember, but I, well, I, I don't remember, but I didn't like it. Yeah, that's a scary one, kind of. Especially well, the if you're. Times was kind of scary too. Yeah. Well, I guess in a different way, scary. Right. Right. Oh, this is so pretty. I gotta go wash my. Oh, uh, the the mica powder. I mean, it's very yeah. Good. Oh it's yes, it is highly pigmented. Yeah. And a sheen to it, a shimmer, a shimmer and a sheen to it because it's a mica. Yes, I'll show you guys in a sec here. I'm gonna. Yeah, the, the way you have to show it on camera is by just keep tipping it back and forth, and that way they can see the sheen on it. Sheen on it. Sure is strange painting with my non dominant I've never done a whole painting with it. This is the first time ever I painted a whole painting with non dominant hand. And it, it really turned out nice. Thank you. Yeah, it's very nice. I gotta go wash my hands. I don't like all this on my fingers. Okay. <laughs> oh, I got it on my clothes too. Really? And I'm gonna let that stay uh, that step dry on mine and check the chat. Yeah, I think, uh, let's see. Justin Malo, he said hi to passion for art. Paul said the square, the square hotel and the driving around was filmed in Woodstock, Illinois. Oh, and Passion for Art is going to be live streaming on her channel today, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on, on her channel. And uh, Jesse, I may or may not be able to make your live stream today because I was invited to another live stream. I was invited to another live stream um, that starts at four o'clock today. So I may oh, or may really? not be able to, yeah, I may or may not be able to get to your live stream today, Jesse. Yeah, thank this looks... for, uh, Jesse, thank you for sharing on Facebook. Very nice. Okay.
Uh, maybe I'll put some more greenery in there. Oh, we only need one more thumbs up for for the next happy dance. Oh, hi, um, John Shelton. Maybe we're gonna get twenty thumbs up. Well, you just came in, John Shelton. Coming, he was the he just he was the giveaway winner for one of my oh for my sunflower painting last Tuesday, and and he is coming to us from the UK. Let's see, we have twenty thumbs. Oh, 20 thumbs up. Okay, there everybody, look at, So now you, um, most, you're gonna see my new my newest happy dance. boyfriend um it says j-i-f on her jar but it says g-i-f which that's gift on his so i because oh. yeah you know, because he really is it well they both are gifts but i don't know just play on word <laughs> <laughs> oh paul said he'd fall on his ass if he did that yeah well i just i, I think my dance training from a long time ago and i, I just that just stuck with me that but uh, let me say um well wait where are you in your picture mary like i'm finished almost middle or almost finished or what i'm done i think i'm done the mika potter was the last part of it i put a few more grasses in oh. but yeah i think i'm finished with it and I could probably always add details more with the birds, but I need to. I I can keep looking at a reference for it just to know what kind of details I should put in a bird. But it looks so nice. I know. Oh, I would look at this and never know if somebody did it with their non-dominant hand. I'm kind I of surprised. Know. I surprised myself. I don't know. Yeah, that really looks good. There you go. I painted that whole that whole two-page spread even up here because. And down here in the representational part, all with my non-dominant hand, responding to the challenge that a few of my viewers um, asked me to do, requested in my poll. That I know most people in here already did vote. I know you guys all, but most of all, all you guys voted in my poll last week. And the winning, the winning vote was Artist Life Vlog, and I delivered on that on Monday. And I'm, I hope to be doing an Artist Life Vlog, posting it every Monday. And and then just other thing and then also painting while i dance well that new happy dance shows you that i just um did that a few a few days ago and a few people a few viewers had requested painting while i dance 
And then this, enough, some other viewers requested painting with your non-dominant hand. And that's what I was doing today. And Mary, I, I did mine the whole, from beginning to end with my non-dominant hand. And Mary, uh, j she did her background and, and also some of the botanicals. Yeah, I did some of that. The plants and foliage and flowers with. Yeah, and I even, uh, after I, I started to do this with the left hands too, the left hand his wings. So I did quite a bit, except for the, uh, I wanted to make sure he was drawn pretty good. And what can you, can you, um, like back and go back and forth, like up and like, so that you could show the shimmer on the wings. Oh, yeah, use, use mica paint, which creates shimmer. Let me see if this will show. Yeah, you could kind of see it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Can you see it? You can see it a lot more in person, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't even have to put it up to the camera. I can see it, you know, from being down on the table. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Oh. I'm exhausted. <laughs> mm. I'm being exhausted. Live, live streaming can be exhausting. It is. Yeah. It, it feels. Well, yeah. Dude, the left hand thing. That's. Uh... Hold on, you guys. I want to. I want to put a link in the chat for. It's for this Saturday. My next live stream is this Saturday. It's a painting party with five artists. Hold on. I want to put. I'm going to put the link in the stream with five artists. That'll be five fun. artists, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's a painting party. It's going to be grayscale painting, Vermont paint and photo, Rosalie Benedicto Shelton channel, and my channel, and uh, designs by Cad Bro. That'll, that'll, that'll be yeah. fun. That and should then be a Tentatively, nice. there will be another painting party. We don't know for sure yet, but tentatively, there's going to be another painting party. On a on Mary's channel, April Saturday, April sixteenth. Yes, yes, that's a tentative. We want to see how this mm -hmm. goes first. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So we would have simulcasted, but it's not able. It's not doable anymore on YouTube. Uh, they decided they didn't like that. I guess. Well, and, they probably already had the policy against it. We just didn't know. I mean, the, yeah, nothing they, written anywhere. It's just that they don't, they don't like, they don't like that. They only let, it, they only allowed it once, but probably because they didn't know we were doing it, and then found out that's what we were doing. Yeah, could have been. And um, let's see what was. Oh, and then this uh, Saturday and Sunday at seven o'clock, I'm interviewing two different artists. Um from Pittsburgh. Uh, they're actually artists, not a musician this week. I had a musician last week. Um, but this week it's two artists. One is a henna artist, kind of interesting. And um, the, the guy, I'm interviewing him tonight and then it's gonna be recorded of course, but he's just a, I, I don't know what type of art he does. I, I'll find out tonight. I think it's kind of like an abstracty kind of thing. So both Saturday and Sunday, is it is it both at seven p.m.? Seven o'clock, yeah. Seven p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and it's they're both premieres. Yes, both, both premieres. premieres, both at seven p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, and uh, Saturday, I'm probably not going to be able to watch. Well, I'll watch it on my phone because I'll be with my husband. He's uh he's gonna be playing up in Ligonier. Is that like a like a town that's known for their music or something? Uh no, actually this is a it's called the Wicked Googly. It's and called what? It's called the Wicked Googly. What what googly? What's that word you're saying? Yeah, googly. It's G-O-O-G-L-Y. Googly. 
like and, Google, Google yeah, like, with a Y on the end. Yeah. <laughs> and um, that uh, is, it's like a bar. It has a bar, it has a bowling alley, and it has uh, the stage. So um, I, I don't know. I guess there's a couple places there. I don't know. You know, but it, it seems like it's kind of like deserted. Ligonier, uh, they have like, if you go into the town of Ligonier, they have a little bit more. They have the Fort Ligonier, like you can take tours of the fort and things like that. Oh. Kind of, you know, like kind of neat, um, some history there. And they have like a, a pretty big art scene up that way. But, you know, like to have to go that far, it's just, I, I, I've exhibited up there a few times, but it, it's just too much of a travel. And the road you have to go on, it's just like filled with lights. You know, it's like almost every corner has a light in it. Oh, so traffic light. Yeah, it's it's just ridiculous. I was wondering so, filled with light, but uh, but you used to show, exhibit. Used to you've been in a few art shows up there. Yeah, I uh, had exhibited at the in this museum of uh, art. It's called um, I think it's called Southwestern. Oh heck, let me get the thing because I can't I can't remember the whole name of it. Thank you, Grayscale. Well, Mary did paint her dragonfly with her dominant hand, but I did my whole painting background on both these pages, but both my journal pages, background and everything with my non-dominant hand right here. Yeah, I surprised myself. I've never done a whole painting with my non-dominant hand. Very nice, very nice challenge to um, try to do. And it felt weird it certainly did feel weird but i, I do surprise my, i have surprised myself yeah yeah this is called the southern alleghenies museum of art and i guess the last time i oh, i know that that's where we went last summer oh no they're all over yes. that's right they, they went are. in altoona and then they're all over the central pennsylvania yeah that, that's right because we we went there to the that one way. in altoona yeah and um, that's where I won an award, actually. Oh, awesome. Yeah. And I guess the last time I actually exhibited there was probably around 2014. Wow. And I was wor working, which, you know, like, it was just hard to get up there. And if you didn't get up there the day that they told you to pick up your painting, you may have, you might lose it. And you had to go that day. Oh, and it right. could have been snowing and... You know, oh, yeah, right. What painting won? What, which painting? It's, it's, did oh, you sell it? Which painting? I mean, what, no. what painting won the? Yeah, that was a pastel painting of um, uh, poppies. <laughs> so it was poppy. pas pas chalk pastels on paper. Yes. Oh. Yes. And yeah. um, I think I have a picture of it. Was that one best in show? Well, yeah, it was uh, a, a award of merit. Um, it was an mm -hmm. award of merit. They, I guess they liked the colors and, and everything. Cause right. it really, it was, it is a nice painting. I just, I, I don't, I wouldn't sell it because that was a painting. My mother told me not to give, give up my, uh, Oh, you art. still have it. Yeah. Uh, cause I was getting frustrated cause I wasn't, I felt like I wasn't getting anywhere, you know? Yeah. So, uh, let's see if I can get this picture up. Thank you, Passion for Art. Thank you, Justin. Let's see. Because I recently just took a picture you of this. Say, you look at the screen, it, there's no frame between us. There's no border between us. It looks like we're really side by side. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's really nice. Usually, I, I do the lay out a different way like i with a border because i like having those lights around us but then it doesn't i'm having some kind of um whatever it, it didn't make mine light enough like my, i didn't it didn't look like there was enough light on my image so now that we blew it up bigger like this like it, it makes my um it makes my at least my image i was just mine wasn't looking light enough but anyway it looks it looks better i don't know if you can see this 
Um, yeah, unless you have it like on your computer, like sometimes guests are able to share. Oh yeah, we can see that pretty good. Oh, hold on. Oh, well. Oh, that's nice. Hold on. Hold on. Let me put you on full screen. Oh, if I can. Hold on. Oh, that light, oh, that is, light is getting. Is no, it's looking good. Let me put it on full screen. Wait a minute. That went. Oh, it went away. <laughs> yeah, that went. Uh, that was anyway, the one. I think I, I think I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. Can you, um, can you bring yeah. it up again? You want me oh, to bring it up? You're on the full screen. You're on the full screen. Okay, let's see if I can find it. Hold on. Uh, took me a while to get to that. This is the this is the pastel painting. Well, I call it drawing, but she's calling it a painting. That she won an award in a in a um, Central Pennsylvania Art Museum. Oh, it is hard to say, but okay. Yeah. Oh, um, there I did better. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah. Yeah, I love that painting. My mom, I was painting that, and she says, don't ever give this up. Uh, and it, it's kind of funny that I won that award because <laughs> I was ready to give up. I was tired of painting. Oh, uh, when you said give this up, I thought you meant don't give the don't give the painting away oh she no meant, she meant don't don't give up doing art you mean yeah yeah because i was get so frustrated i mean it was just so hard um getting anywhere you know and that was just like a real incentive to make me keep going you know and after i won that i kind of just like didn't even want to you know worry about it anymore it was just like my I accomplished what I, one of my goals. Oh, you know? like you felt like you accomplished what you want to accomplish? Yeah, yeah. Let's see, we have uh, all funnies and games. Hi, uh, yeah, he's an art channel. He's not a game channel. Oh, well, oh. except he's mainly predominantly an art channel. So, hi, all funnies and games. He does the, the game that he does talk of. I mean, he only talks about. It. He does unboxings for. He does unboxings for, you know, those role playing, that role playing game. Oh, okay. He does unboxings for that, but his his channel's all about his art. I see. Okay. Hi, fun and games. Thanks, Paul. Thank you. So Oh, 24 thumbs up. Yeah. Just need one more for another dance. Well, 12 people it says are watching. Nice. 14 okay. are watching. Mm. Okay, so we oh there it is. Another there it is. 25. Oh cool. Oh yeah, we're, I guess we're gonna take this out with a happy dance. Okay, guys, you we'll see you next week. Bye. Set a reminder, scroll up and find the link for this Saturday, the the thought is the Artapalooza, Artapalooza painting party on my channel with five artists featuring five artists on my panel. We're all painting. We're all painting something different, but we're, it's going to be original art giveaways. There's going to be, a, I don't know if it's one, one or more of us give, doing original art giveaways. Well, a few of us are doing original art giveaways. So set, scroll up and set a reminder for that. And then, oh yeah, tonight, um, Passion for Art, well, not not tonight, but at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Passion for Art, who's in the um, stream, she is having a live stream, painting live stream on her channel. And then Mary is doing, interviewing two artists on her channel, 7 p.m. Saturday and Sunday. Yes. I think it'll be fun. Mary's I channel's think... linked down below in the description box. Yeah, it'll be a fun, fun thing. I think the one lady, that'll be very interesting because I've never seen that type of art before. So, oh, the henna? Be, yeah. Yeah. I mean, her, it's very intense. I mean, very detailed oh. from the looks of it, you know. I have, uh, I think I have a couple th uh, thumbnails up <clears throat> for both of them. <clears throat> 
Okay, bye everybody. Bye, bye guys. Have a good one. Thanks Thank for watching. I honor this time and space in which I am going to...